So it is now the 2nd of December and I still don't have a job for 2021. basically been since the end of October finding out from Trek that they weren't going to have the budget to be able to keep me on. Their spending was going elsewhere and that's a that's a decision that they've made and I wasn't overly proactive about seeking options out elsewhere. And so, for the last six to seven weeks, I've just been scrambling around, speaking to a lot of people, having a lot of interest, which has been really, really nice to know that, you know, brands can see the value in having me as part of their team or part of their marketing. But it's getting really close to the start of the year and I have absolutely nothing. The thing with the bike industry that people, a lot of people don't know, so most of the time we're having a great time. It certainly looks like that from the outside. But the reality is that every other year we're negotiating whether we even have a job the next year or not. And it's, it's as brutal as that, because you either do or you don't. So I had one pretty good option that was looking really good for a little while. The budget was going to be tight, the current climate with the bike industry doing well but there not being enough you know components and things being made means that the first quarter for the, the next year is going to be quite tight for a lot of brands that just aren't going to have the parts in order to sell bikes. Basically I just had one option that was looking actually quite good and They've just come back and said, no, we can't actually do this anymore. You know, you, you take you take the hit and you start to think, you know, about building again something else. You know, what are the other options? It's good to know so you can start actually doing something. But it's just terrifying. You know, you have everything. You're riding for one of the big biggest bike brands in the world. And then all of a sudden, it's the start of December and you don't know. It's ridiculous really, I'm not I'm not doing a really important job or anything, but it's something I've worked towards for my whole life, so it's just a bit scary when you're not entirely sure how to move forward, that's all. Right, so it's getting dark now, but once you um get something like that makes you feel uncomfortable and sad and whatever usually uh, encourages action so I have emailed people I've messaged people I've started I've got a phone call tomorrow morning you know just talking to different people trying to get ideas together and see what we can do now it's, you know one closed door doesn't mean it's over it's just you just have to go that but uh that's done now and we move on and we do something different and try something else because there must be something better to come so fingers crossed we'll keep chipping away all right 
so today I've just had a day of complete denials, left, right and centre. The big one was yesterday, I was a bit upset, but I got on to talking to different people and trying to put something together and yeah, today I've just had nope, 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 nope. So it's been a bit of a, a bit of a rubbish day, but I am here in my brother's little uh, lock up thing and I've got a massive canvas that I'm just prepping to do some mad painting on to try and uh, get rid of some emotions and uh, get back on track. <laughs> so since last week there's not been a whole lot of progress made and um, I took a little bit of time to think of alternative ways to go about this, possibly getting funding from outside the bike industry, etc, etc. Um, yeah, just really brainstorming every eventuality and opportunity. Anyway, I'm now um, working with Trek on a bit of a press release um, to hopefully gain some momentum, maybe some interest from brands that hadn't realised this was an opportunity, maybe I hadn't thought of them or whatever. So just trying to get the word out there that there is an opening and yeah, just see see what comes up. But um, it's got me quite excited really because I feel like it's a story that people might want to follow. You know, they, they can see that, okay, things aren't happening with Trek anymore, but I'm really just declaring that this is not over and it's not the end and that one way or another I'll be at those races. When things like this happen, you really find out what you're made of and <laughs> I'm quite excited to show people what I'm made of. So some good chats yesterday and things are back on the upward part of the roller coaster. It's looking good and I'm just really hoping that this time it doesn't come crashing down again. Um, so I'm actually just a little bit useless today, just quite nervous, just in anticipation of how good this could be if it all comes off and it's kind of terrifying because you're just almost just holding your breath, just like, come on, please just come back with some good news. Like I would really just really like some good news. <laughs> so it is the 18th of December. It's been a couple of days since the announcement from Trek went out that I'll no longer be racing for them and they were really good about it you know they want to help me um, move forward and have more opportunities so it was good to get the news out there because I've had a couple of emails and phone calls and stuff um, as a result of that it's still not really any closer to anything concrete but you know it's been a really tough couple of months but yeah the announcement went out and so many people messaged, commented so many positive things and it honestly thank you to every single one of you because it really gave me such a boost that you know it was really worth keeping on <laughs> pushing on because there's so many people that are enjoying the journey and a lot of people that are saying that they're inspired by what I'm doing and that's absolutely incredible because if what I'm doing is inspiring more people to get on bikes or push their limits, um, then that's just awesome because bike riding is great. I'm still writing emails to people, still trying to um, figure out different pitches. That kind of thing just takes quite a lot of time, a lot of thinking, figuring out what's important to me and why I'm doing this and why brands should invest in that. And yeah, I'm feeling more confident about what I have to offer. So yeah, just got to keep on away. It's the end of December, I'm in the gym and I've just had a quick phone call with a brand that I really, really want it to work out with. It's really actually really cold in here. It's a pretty positive chat, some really good advice. It's very difficult not to get your hopes up and really want and hope for things, for things to work out. Since sort of the end of October and getting this news, I've just been absolutely flat out trying to work on sorting out 2021. Gotta sort it, need wanna sort it before the end of the year. You know, full on just like every waking moment feeling like I need to be work working towards sorting this out, which was completely relentless and really difficult to take a break from. Plus having really good conversations and things following through 
was just hard to like take hits and then pick yourself back up again take another hit you know over and over again in such a short space of time so the holiday break has been just what I needed everybody else was off work so no one's going to answer my emails so I fully took a break yeah just regrouped and refreshed ready to hit this hit this again but I've just had a really really great conversation when that's kind of put my faith back in the bike industry it's easy to kind of get a little bit down on it when you're getting getting rejections or you know your just when your values don't align with a company it's difficult to see the value in what you're doing um but when you do speak to someone that does value the same things and you know you can offer them what it is that they're looking for it's quite exciting and feels like there's potential for a good partnership so that's been rewarding whether that goes anywhere or not or whatever I don't know but it's just nice to have these conversations so we'll take it from there. It's happened. It's looking like after all this time everything's gonna be sorted within a week. <laughs>